Hey everybody, I'm Razmik, and today I've prepared for you a detailed analysis of the second part of 73 episode of Skibidi Toilet. This episode was long awaited and very epic because we were all waiting for what will happen with G-Man because the first part of 73 episode ended at the most interesting place, namely at the very end when the three titans came face to face with G-Man. But before analysis, don't forget to put a like on the video as well as write your impressions about this episode. And in this video, we'll find out why did G-Man have a sphere with green glow? How did Speaker Man Titan get free of the parasite? What happens in episode 74? Why did G-Man tell TV Man he still needed him? And why couldn't the Titans defeat G-Man? What is that toilet hiding? That and much more in this video, so watch it all the way through so you don't miss the interesting details. Let's start the analysis traditionally with the description under the video. Maybe you didn't know, but Dafuk leaves a secret message in the description under his videos every time, and even sometimes edits it after it's published, as was the case in the previous episode. Here we notice this text where it says, Titans confront G-Man. Well, it was obvious, okay? Let's start our analysis, and I advise you to watch the video to the end so you don't miss the hidden details. Let's get started. The second part of the 73rd episode is exactly the same as the first part, as we remember the previous episode ended at this very moment when the Titans surrounded G-Man. If you don't know, there's a secret sound. Listen to it. When the Titan Speaker Man appeared, it was the sound of the Valve Studio intro. The studio is exactly and belongs to the program for Animation SFM, the first part we have already analyzed in detail. Who has not seen, I recommend to look at the upper right corner. This is where the second part begins. Immediately, we hear G-Man's phrase, for the scientist, but it's strange. He left him alone when the Titans were destroying the scientist, and here he pretends that he cares about the scientist. I don't even know what to say here. Post your thoughts in the comments. Next, Speaker Man shows up and shoots G-Man in the back, but he in turn activates his rear defense shield and thus blocks the Titans' shots. Next, the TV Man Titan says that, I'm the last thing you'll ever see. And while he says his punch, at this time, G-Man activates an unusual weapon. This one is the same sphere, but with green elements. It's clearly not a sphere control, but something else. Probably some kind of shot enhancer. Next, G-Man hits the Titan's weakest point, namely the core, and the TV Man Titan steps back a bit, but doesn't fall to the ground. Speaker Man Titan continues to land shots to G-Man's back and gets a toilet response as well. All this time, Cameraman was resting on the sidelines, and as soon as it was his turn, he immediately rips one laser cannon off G-Man. And as we can see, G-Man has changed the projectiles to ones that take control. And yes, G-Man is going to fulfill our theory that we talked about in the previous videos. Further still, he shoots at Cameraman, but Cameraman discards that shot and points his finger that but, 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 but. Actually, Cameraman Titan shows this symbol not to G-Man, but to us, the viewers, because we all expected it to be like this. G-Man continues to fire shots at Cameraman, but from behind him, TV Man calls G-Man to him, jumping at him. The Titan unfortunately misses and falls to the ground, but here one hidden detail could be noticed. Here a secret agent could be seen to the left, more specifically his green glow. And when G-Man shot at Cameraman, the Titan built up all his power with his Astro Toilet Hand and then counterpunched. G-Man reacted by laughing and firing back. Speakerman decided to deprive G-Man of the ability to fly and destroyed his jetpack. G-Man bit off Speakerman's left cannon and lost some teeth. Then when Speakerman used his core, G-Man did a headbutt and threw the Titan very far away. And when Titan got back on his feet, a parasite flew in from behind and infected Speakerman. That's when I immediately remembered the old episodes, specifically episode 32, when Titan Speakerman managed to infect him. I'll have more on that in a bit. As we know after the infection, agents have their personal color changed to the color of Skibidi toilets, namely yellow. Next, the TV man continues the dialogue again and says that G-Man infected Speakerman for nothing. And just with one punch, TV man Titan throws Speakerman and the parasite away. It's funny here, of course. From episode 32 to episode 57, it took us 25 episodes to heal Titan Speakerman. And it turns out you just needed a good punch in the Speakerman's face to help him. Next, Cameraman appears and fixes G-Man's head, then throws him on the ground, activates his guns and starts roasting G-Man. And then you can hear the same snoring meme. 
But unfortunately, the Titan has the same hybrid toilet from the first part of episode 73 on his neck. As we remember, he survived then because he ran away when he saw the fake scientist. The hybrid toilet manages to wound the Titan, but cameraman notices it and throws it to the ground. And when he was about to crush it with his foot, the toilet retreats and survives again. But that's not all. A Skibidi toilet emerges from under the sand with 250,000 tons of TNT. It clings to the Titan cameraman's leg and explodes. Because of this explosion, unfortunately, our camera woman loses her right arm. Yes, as we recall, the entire 73rd episode is in the camera woman's voice. And here, by the way, you can see that leaked shot. G-Man, as it turns out, survived. And then he strikes back at cameraman and again bites the Titan's weapon with his mouth. But cameraman manages to fix his head again, but that doesn't stop G-Man. And he shoots right into the Titan's cameraman's core. And here you can see the second merged shot. But speaker man Titan comes to the rescue and stops G-Man. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, TV Man threw the parasite away with one punch, but G-Man manages to deal with the Speaker Man as well and throws Titan to the ground and tries to finish him off. But here we can actually see a very hidden detail. As we can see, G-Man only has three laser cannons left. Have you ever wondered why they're left in that position? What if G-Man is working with Apple and wants to destroy Samsung? Or maybe G-Man is using iPhones and that's why he has the cannons in that position? I don't know, I don't know but I'm going to do a 30 minute analysis on this soon and I'll tell you all about it. G-Man tries to kill Speaker Man, but he fails as the Titan uses his ultrasound. But G-Man has recently acquired the same ability and uses the same technique. But unfortunately, G-Man was stronger than Speaker Man, so he managed to throw Titan to the ground and then TV Man Titan appears. And here too, we can notice a merged shot. G-Man tells TV Man that he will still be useful to him most likely G-Man is hinting at a temporary alliance to defeat Astro Toilets. If you are interested in this theory, let's get 500 likes on this video, and I will publish a video tomorrow where I will tell about it in detail. Next, TV Man Titan responds to G-Man and pounces on him, and unfortunately he misses again and falls to the ground. Next, TV Man says it's time to destroy you, and turns on his red glow to destroy G-Man. Toilet is holding on as best he can, or more specifically, waiting for his package. For it is in these containers that the scientist's unfinished project is hidden. And yes, there's the meme sound again. G-Man says that he will survive despite his injuries, which may be true as he will be helped by what is in the containers. It is unlikely that he will appear in episode 74, but when he does, he will be very much improved and turned into G-Man 5.0 next. Toilet takes his containers, activates his defense field, throws the TV Man Titan away, and hides. We've never seen Titan's TV Man so angry before. Indeed, three Titans could not stop G-Man and even gave him the containers. After that, as we expected, all the characters were seriously injured, especially G-Man. And now, they need a few episodes not to appear in the show so that they can recover. What do you think will happen next in episode 74? Because as we remember, Dafuk promised us that episode 74 will be as epic as episode 73. Agree, we haven't seen such a fight as in the second part of 73 episode for a long time. And the further the series develops, the more interesting it gets. Well, before you came my other theories and analysis on Skibidi Toilet, I would be very pleased if you would appreciate these videos. Well, to not miss new videos, I recommend you to subscribe and click on the bell. And with you was Razmik. I'll see you all very soon, bye. Well here, I have collected for you my interesting theories that you have not yet appreciated. I recommend you to look. That's it. Good luck to everyone and goodbye.